and good afternoon everyone how is everyone doing i hope that you all are doing okay today for those of you all that are just coming into the room please hit the like button also if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel but definitely uh share the video um but hit the like button that helps the video to circulate um That helps the video to circulate. Okay. Every time I get on, I get distracted because my, my, I start getting text messages. Okay. Um, like I said, I hope that you all are doing good today. You know, I thought it was going to rain today. And I was like, oh, I get to go out and do some of the things I need to do. And then come back home and, and lay down and enjoy the rain. And it didn't. It The sun came out and I was like, dog. But thank God, though, you know, even though I got to go do some, I got to go out today to do some things. Um, it's it's kind of light. There are a couple of uh, politicians I got to go shoot commercials for. Y'all know it's election season. And then I get to go and um, do some stuff for myself, you know, some pampering for myself. So a little busy, but light. Okay. Anyways, I'm always glad when I got a light day because I'm always busy. So I just had to talk about that. But anyways, you guys, I wanted to talk about when people are threatened by you, they do desperate things. And I probably really should have titled it Desperate People Do Desperate Things and Hackers on YouTube. You know, I was thinking about, you know, and I think I've talked just a little bit about this before when I got on um when I got back on YouTube, it was basically just to, it was basically to spread awareness. You know, I understand even with the type of stuff that I do before, a lot of these newer pages years ago, I was putting up crime shows on YouTube. And it was, I didn't really even know anything about any monetization. I just wanted it to reach uh, basically, when I had people to come in from out of town, when they was coming to my TV show that I still have on Comcast, I, they did not get the channel, but they wanted to come and talk about and spread awareness about their missing loved ones. YouTube was a way for them to see it. You know, years later, I stopped posting for a very long time. You know, I had basically built up an audience and then I just stopped posting, you know, on YouTube. And I recently decided to start back. Um, probably around January. And it just so happens that this young dog's case was going on. And I kind of have been, you know, kind of looking at different people's stuff, right? Um, uh, I kind of knew, I always knew what was going on in the background as it relates to the young dog's case, okay? Because I worked for the police department for 18 years. I still have friends over there. I still, I'm a private investigator. I still have to you know, I'm still intertwined with, with the courts and people in the prosecutor's office and these district, you know, just the, the federal prosecutors, like I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm in deep with those people, right? Because those, that's the type of work that I do, right? They hire my business, they hire my company. And even though I don't necessarily <clears throat> talk about everything that I know about the Young Dolls case, I'm not working this Young Dolls case. I think I had said from early on that I would not, even if when it gets over to the federal side, if they needed investigators, you know, if they wanted to contract in investigators and, and they will, it just won't be my company because I'm, I'm it, you know, I vlog on this young dog's case. If I was had anything to do with this young dog's case, I would not vlog on it. Right. But I do like to get on here, too, because I know a lot of people are um, <clears throat> invested in this Dolph case, good or bad, because I know the people who are still out there, they look at different vlogs with green eyes, you know, with red eyes, wondering what people know. And it's weird, the, the psyche of people, you know, if they say too much, I, we going to go get them pathetic. Because here's the thing, there's nothing that I can get on here and say that the authorities don't know. They know way more than I could ever know. I don't know nearly what they know. 
Okay. So it's not like people are whispering out in the street and I hear it and I'm getting on here talking about it. Oh, and the police might find out about it. Now they already know. Okay. I don't get on here and talk about anything that I hear in the street. I would never repeat nothing in the street from out the street. I'm going to tell you that right now because it's not confirmed or, and it's, and it's not credible to me. Okay. So that's why I know when I, I hear people and I hear a lot, I've heard a lot of different narratives. People can say what they want to say on their page, but it does not sway me. I know that that is a lie, but you never hear me say anything. Right. Because I ain't trying to stop nobody's bag and I'm not trying to convince people who to believe and who not to believe. That's that's for them to for God. OK, that's for God to do. Not not for me. The only thing I can do is on my page is try to put, you know, to keep you all really to keep you inspired, to let you know and not to even tell you anything a whole lot about what's going on in the Dallas case, because I don't know everything that's going on, but to let you know, just from based on what I do know, he's going to get justice. Okay. He is going to get justice. All right. So, and when I say there are people that have a vested interest in it, good and bad, like I was saying, there are those who truly were dog fans. They truly want to see justice. Okay. There are some people who have had loved ones who have been taken out just like dog. And it represents hope for them to know that he's going to get justice. That's why you don't see me on here trying to spin any narratives or to put out outlandish stuff uh, to try to make my audience bigger or anything like that. I understand by being, as you know, by keeping it as straight as I can keep it and at being truthful, God will send the, the right people at the right time, right? You know. OK, um, you know, because I had a person to get on here um, that had a fake page. I never rem I'll never forget. I, I know the name because, you know, they hacks on here. You know, it was other vloggers, though. Um, but somebody had a fake page and was like, we looked at your numbers and you got your subscribers here. And why would somebody care about somebody else's subscribers? I, I, I don't care about nobody else's subscribers. That's a person that's that's that jealous demon. That's a person that will commit murder. Because like I said, you know, you have a lot of these people, it, it, their backgrounds, they probably don't need to be around. But a lot of them ain't even supposed to be on here because there are children on here. Okay. And then there are other ones when they're shysty and they're shady and they're evil. And they're manipulative and they're jealous hearted. They will commit murder if they feel like you are a threat to their lies and whatever it is that they're trying to project. That's the reason why I got them folks involved when they violated me. And it's funny because they was able to zone right in, y'all, on uh, exactly where it came from. I got my lawyer. I know when they start working, because those are federal crimes. They go quiet. You know, they're going to have to release that stuff to my lawyer, but they have let me know that they're working on it. And they said, the person, the people that violated you, we got a direct guy has a direct connection in Dallas. No, they said in, uh, in, in Dallas, yeah. In uh, Atlanta. And in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. And I was like, dog, I know y'all heard me get on here before and say, I don't know anybody in South Carolina. Why would I have enemies in South Carolina? I don't know anybody in, I've never even been to South Carolina. I've been, you know, to, I've been to Georgia several times. Dallas too. I got cousins down there. I don't know nobody in South Carolina. And so what they did was, they hacked my page because, see, I didn't have those two step out because, you know, with this Gmail stuff, I don't even really use my Gmail account. It was just strictly for this. Nothing personal goes to it. Right. And so I didn't have like no two step authenticators or anything like that. And, you know, whoever their hacker was hacked my stuff. And let me tell you what they did. 
they came into my YouTube page. And it's funny because I was sitting over in my office one day and I had log, I logged on and it says, you can't click on this video because someone else is on, is logged in on your channel. Okay. And I was like, dog, cause you know, I don't, I went into this YouTube stuff like that. I was just getting into it because y'all know I got other stuff going on. Okay. And, um, I didn't think anything of it, so I, you know, I started, I sent, somebody said, send Google a message. One of the guys that was sitting in there with me, he said, somebody might be trying to hack you. One of the other investigators that retired from the FBI that contracts and works with me, okay? He said, somebody might be trying to hack you. He said, let me send a message to Google. He started typing, okay? So... I didn't think nothing else of it. He kept asking me that you need to go back and watch that. And so it's funny. He said the Google, the people on Google, the, um, was saying as he was, he was like, they are saying that your email address, they changed my email address, I guess. And then turn around and changed it back. So he immediately called the folks he used to work with over there at TBI. Right. I was like, no, I don't think so, because I, I just didn't, I just did not bother with it, right? Then I started looking at my videos one day, because, you know, when you got other things going on, you don't scramble for crumbs. I just didn't think that these folks would be on here plotting murder and hacking pages and doing whatever they're trying to do, get social security numbers and, 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 and um, 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 EIN numbers and stuff like that. You know, because uh, some of these folks going to go down because I, I, I fear for my life. I, I believe they want to try to murder me. OK. And so that's why the feds are involved, too. Google has to comply. And YouTube, they don't want no lawsuits. OK. So to make a long story short, I started I, one day. So after that, because I didn't bother with it, didn't give it no, no thoughts. You know, when you got other things going on, other means. You, you just don't think a whole lot. You know, I get on here and I communicate with my subscribers and I love giving information. I always been like that. If YouTube didn't pay a dime, I would do it. I was doing it before. Look at my videos from before. I was doing it then. I sell advertisement on my TV network on the whole 31. My dad had been bought it for me 10 years ago. That's why these politicians and stuff come to me. I know how to shoot their commercials. I sell them airtime and I put their commercials, sell them spots to put into my shows. And these Negroes on here scrapping for crumbs and then got themselves caught up in some federal stuff for some cheese. Okay. So I started looking at my videos and I was like, dog, I did a video where I came out of the doctor's office and I was like, I don't see it. And the only thing I was doing was I was talking about, I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to get the yellow. And I started talking about my dad and I started talking about my company. I guess that's what got the Negroes. Don't want her to have no credibility. She's sitting up talking about she got a PI company. So I guess they said, delete that. That's what a jealous motherfucker would do. Lord, excuse me, because I'm getting mad, okay? Because they violated me. Okay, but it's coming out now. I ain't worried about it. these Negroes ain't got no money, but they're going to get sued. They're going to be looking at federal time and they're going to get sued because I fear for my life. Okay, not to mention that my mom and my children fear for theirs. So they're going to be looking at extra reports. Okay, I know how to do it. That's protect myself, that is. I've even had, I'm going to tell you, they even went as far as to start harassing some of my moderators trying to hack into their stuff. And there's proof of that. Okay. And some of my dedicated subscribers that was always in my chat because they wanted to scare them off. Cause I thought, I think they thought they was going to be able to corner the market, but they messed with the wrong one. Okay, desperate people do desperate things. So that video was deleted. I'm going to tell you how good God is, though. I, it's always a backup plan. I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all how we was able to, we've we been getting them. And so then um, 
I was like, dog, maybe I made a mistake and deleted it. I have so much going on because I make real money. Okay. So I was like, dog, you know, um, that was deleted. And then there was another video where I was sitting and I was talking about something. And I ain't going to tell no lie. Somebody said, Big Jook is on to you. And it kind of made me laugh. I was like, I ain't think about no Big Jook. And I started thinking about that. And I was like, well, I didn't say nothing bad about him, you know. Um, so I dismissed that because I was like, I really don't say anything about them. I, I don't say uh, what I could say. It ain't for me to say, you know. Um, so I was like, you know, and I ain't going to lie. I thought, well, you know, somebody was saying that this guy sound like it could be Big Jook. And I I never, I don't even lurk on Instagram that be on your page. So I went and listened to his voice. I said, no damn Big Jook. That's not him. So just not really knowing. Um, and the folks were saying, step back. Let us, let us work this by this time. Well, no, this is before I really knew. And so they got jealous because I started getting into back into my missing part expensive purses and stuff and then somebody with a fake page said don't let us find out that you got you know i guess because oxygen had looked at me before i i guess that you know because people listen to everything you say um when i told y'all about that phoenix coding case that you gonna have a contract with somebody a major network it was a troll that i've never even seen before i'm gonna tell you like i said people can see stuff on your life and they be scared of it and they try and destroy it and the devil messed themselves up every time because what they did was they started deleting some of my main videos with the most views on it and i was like dog even if it was anybody because i know i talk about Dolph. i was like well even if it was somebody that was mad about Dolph, they wouldn't give a damn about the missing persons videos that I recently did, y'all, they deleted them. And I was like, hell no. He, my friend said, Ke uh, Kevin said, that's the one that retired from the FBI. I told you some MLs had hacked your page. He said, now will you let me do something? I said, damn right. Because they went crazy deleting. Okay. And then I went and looked back at some stuff, at, on my at some backup stuff. And I saw where, because I save some, I save my videos. I save them and I log them. And I was like, they deleted the one with the first one I did with Clea Hall and uh, Shamika Cozy. I had just did that. Those were girls that's been missing, black girls that I was just talking. I had already did shows on them years ago. I was talking about them again. The first one I did with Rich Lord and, and, and Dolph. You know, I, I went and redid it again. All a lot of the ones that I had gotten views on, and I was like, Well, dog, you know, it's got to be a woman. I thought, Well, hell, it's got to be a woman because who gives a damn about me talking about me going to get yellow fingernail polish? You got to be a bitch, Lord forgive me. Okay, so then when they started looking into it. Even though they think they use these fake IP addresses, it's just for the public, never for the FBI. Okay. They know how to trace it, even with the fake IP addresses. I went and got me a lawyer, Im lawyer immediately. And like I said, I'm going to tell you something. When the feds call, Google and YouTube is going to comply. Especially when you're trying to get people's information so that you can commit murder. Okay. Or, or or try and steal their information to resell their information. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, that's what they was trying to do. Okay? Find out about who your kids are and stuff. I guess so they can try to do something to them. Okay? But it all goes back to people being jealous of what you got going on and thinking they're going to corner the market on here. It didn't have anything to do with CMG now. It had everything to do with these jealous, hating ass bloggers. Now, if they could have tried to sell some of your information, they want it. So maybe they can sell it to some of your ops like the FBI agent said. But in the meantime, they've gotten themselves in a lot of trouble and they get on here and act like they did. Now, they did it to every blogger on here. So then that's why I tell people, you know, run your credit report because then I ran my credit report. 
and somebody down in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. A bank down in Fort Worth, Texas. We immediately called. Okay. So y'all, when people on here, desperate people do desperate things. Okay. Desperate people do desperate things. Okay. And it is going to cost them. When people are threatened by you, I remember this guy that he's a good friend of mine. It's weird how we met. He reached out to me on Instagram about some video work. This man lives in New York. I don't know. I, I don't even be on Instagram like that. I just happen to see he has started coming on my stuff. He said it somehow he came across my page. But it's weird because I started doing like some editing and stuff for him. I didn't even know who he was. Okay. I knew he was, all I knew is he was a, a, a guy that was in the street. But we ended up communicating, you know, because I would tell him about video work and he was trying to get some, talking about some documentaries. As I said, I have a video company too, some documentaries, and I would give him little nuggets about that. And then I found out who he was. He asked me, have you ever seen this movie? He said, you know, that movie was based on like me and my friends, a movie that was made in, in New York. Uh, what was the name of it? Paid in Full. I was like, that was you. I had no idea who he was, but to make a long story short, he was one of the people that was depicted in that movie. But to make a long story short, he said, let me tell you something, what, what, what your problem is. I said, okay. He said, I know you're, you're not out in the street. I, I know you're not. He said, but what, what your problem is, is you tell, you let people, people see how intelligent you are. And you kind of don't have an issue with letting people know that you are intelligent. He said, and what, what's going to happen is, because I'm a street dude, I'm trying to give you some knowledge. They're going to end up trying to destroy you. It's slimy out here. Everybody don't think like you. They don't respect morals and boundaries. They see that you're intelligent and you know how to put some stuff together. They would try and destroy you, especially if they got another agenda. He said, baby girl, they'll try to kill you. That's the sliminess of street dudes. Now, I've had cousins, I got cousins that are out in the street, but they still at the core of even being out there in the street, they got morals. <clears throat> they got a foundation. Even though they do a lot of stuff that they shouldn't do, <clears throat> they still have limits. I ain't never seen nothing as slimy as I've seen on here. These people scrapping for dimes. These folks going to go do fair time for dimes. I told y'all, we don't play fair. They didn't stop at me. They started going at my subscribers because they feared whatever they thought, whatever they think I got going on or might have going on, they wanted me gone. And they're going to be the first one to go. Because see, the devil will mess themselves up trying to mess you up. What they did was a federal crime. And it ain't going to stop there. And for what? Because whatever they think they're going to have, they're not going to have. But it goes back to when people are threatened by you, they will do desperate things instead of building their own lane. See, when they get caught, well, I just want to be on my own lane, this, this, and that. No, you got to pay for the violation. Okay? You have to pay for that. So, y'all, I, you know, I, I wanted to get on here and talk about that because, you know, it's like I said, it's out of my hands. My lawyer said, and I went and got me and he good too. Because like I said, YouTube and Google will protect, they, they have, they have to protect you until there's something more sinister going on. 
then they can't protect you. They're going to work with the law. And it's sad that whenever and stuff, there's money and stuff involved, that our people start crawling into barrels. They start crawling into barrels. A lot of them were crackheads and stuff like that to begin with. Okay. Probably ain't never made money because it is unlimited. You can make a lot of money on YouTube if you got the time to do it. For me, I'm not going to get on here and put out outlandish stuff. I know people like this grand stuff. I, I, I don't have the mind to get on here and put out crazy stuff. I'm going to put out the truth. And oftentimes, I guess the truth is not that fascinating to people. When it's all said and done, Doc going to get justice. It, it, it ain't no tricks behind it. He going to get it. Okay, he gonna get it. I, 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 you know, I just, I can't make that grand. All I know is he gonna get it. There ain't no conspiracies or nothing. He gonna get it. And I'm not gonna throw his family or anything up on the bus because they ain't had nothing to do with it. For views, I, I can't do that. I've always been a person that I, I, if I, even if I can't, I try to walk a straight and narrow road. I'm not perfect. But I don't mislead people. It's something about that that I just I, I can't I can't do that. I don't mislead people. Okay. And you know, it's it's sad, you know, when when I when like I said, when it first happened, I actually I actually thought these people doing this because these folks don't want me talking about Dolph. And I was like, they got to be stupid to be sitting up doing certain things when they know the people are already watching them and come to find out it's these vloggers that's doing it it's these ignorant ass vloggers some of them can't stand to see nobody move ahead but that's just our people crabs in a barrel mentality and then when you're being paid to get on here and try and change the narrative that's you know you still when you think they've just put out their stuff and and leave other people alone but they have to turn it into something sinister and a crime. And then they want everybody to feel sorry for what's getting ready to happen to them. So that's why I was telling everybody to check your credit report because they got they got somebody, whether he, he's already been, okay? Make sure you have those two-step authenticators because these folks is pathetic. And whatever they think they gonna corner, they still ain't gonna get these folks on here plotting murder. These folks on here setting folks up for money. Baiting them in and setting them up. It's a shame before God. But y'all always remember, desperate people do desperate things. So be aware and protect yourself, okay? And when people are threatened by you, as, as, as I call them, as the OG said, <clears throat> and he's my friend. When they're threatened by you, they will try and destroy you. Okay? But I want y'all to hit the like button. Okay? I want y'all to hit the like button. Then they had a nerd to get their asses on here and talk about justice for Dolph. And they doing the exact same thing that the people did to Dolph trying to destroy anything smoking. Anything they think gonna get some momentum. We're going to try and destroy it when they should have just stayed in their own lane because now they've gotten themselves into something criminal. But y'all protect y'all selves, honey. I tell all my subscribers, y'all, who are your credit report? These folks on here desperate. Because you ain't got no business wanting to know nothing about nobody else other than yourself. If they ain't your subscribers and they're not a threat to you, you ain't even really got no business trying to know anything about them. Okay. But I want y'all to hit the like button and then they listen, then they be worried about your, your money, how much money you're making, your subscribers, um, your subscriber count, your content, your credibility. That's that that's all the ingredients of a murderer because that's jealousy. Okay. That's jealousy. That's jealousy. Okay. Okay, that's attorney Kale. Let me call him back. All right, you guys, I want you to hit the um, the uh, uh, like button. I'm calling up in there. Okay. I want you all to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to 
the channel. Also, share the video. And I want you all to know that as I'm going to, as long as God allows me to, to give you as much truth as I can, to lead you down, give you much as much information as I can, and I always try to inspire you and encourage you. I'm not going to mislead you. It ain't going to be a bunch of BS. Now, we get on here and get silly sometimes, but it, it, it ain't going to be that. And you better know it's going to be the truth because, you know, I deal with the people that know the truth, right? And it ain't nobody on the street. It's the people that's got, that know because they the ones got the evidence and stuff like that, okay? So they actually know. You know, and I ain't into to messing up no cases. So I, 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 you know, I can't do that. But I can tell you, he gonna get justice. And if that's boring, that's just. But that's what we want, right? We want justice for him. And it ain't nothing that come behind it, other than that's just God. That's it, because it is the plan and will of God. Okay. All right, you guys. I want y'all to have a good day. I gotta get out of here so I can go and do what I need to. Uh, do so that I can end my day with my facial and my my eyebrows and stuff done. But I want y'all to uh, I want y'all to have a good day and y'all be safe out there and do what I said. Put those two step authenticators, even if you don't even use the Gmail or nothing like that. These folks have lost their damn minds, but they're gonna be had their asses in jail real soon. Wonder if the weakest link gonna tell on everybody else. We shall see. Talk to you later.